So you're ready to take your YouTube studio setup to the next level and you got a thousand dollars to spend. In this video, I'll be telling you what I would do with that thousand dollars to include the camera, the mic, the lighting, all this that you see right here, a thousand bucks. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar El Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video and on this channel. Sometimes we do YouTube strategy tips as well as YouTube studio setups just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And I just wanted to let you know that everything I mention to the products that I'm mentioning, as well as reference videos to each and individual product that I'm recommending will be linked up down in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you wanna reference anything that I'm saying in this video. When we create these kind of videos, we definitely have the YouTuber in mind, specifically the beginner YouTuber in mind. And I think uh, attributing a thousand dollars to invest into your entire YouTube studio setup to potentially make it look like this because I am using about a thousand dollar YouTube setup to shoot this video that uh, it is something that's easy to get going with and it's also something easy to understand and so you can always within a thousand dollars buy all kinds of different types of gear from beginner all the way to pro and uh, even buying little things that have all these micro nuance settings and things like that but I'm really thinking about the beginner the entrepreneur that needs to start shooting videos the person that's passionate and just wants to get some awesome information about a specific niche or topic on their YouTube channel or what have you. And so keep that in mind. And uh, we have a plethora of videos on Think Media about different cameras and lighting and things like that. But specifically, when I'm thinking about that one and done purchase for a thousand bucks, this is what I would go with. Starting with audio, you definitely wanna ask the question, do you want to boom your mic like out of frame? So right now I'm using a boom mic that is out of frame that you can't see or do you want a clip on mic or what is called a lavalier mic where you can clip it onto your shirt and uh, because you'll be moving around it'll make a lot more sense. Um, when using a boom mic like this, obviously if I'm not right in front of the mic, then it won't sound as good. So like right now, if I'm right outside the mic and so you can't really hear me, but because now I'm in the vicinity of the mic, you can hear me nice and well. I actually do like how boom mics sound, specifically for talking head videos, but there are 100% instances where I need that wireless solution. And so if you're using a boom mic and you're gonna be plugging right into your camera, I would recommend the Deity D4 Duo. We've done a review video on this mic. This mic is awesome because it has two uses. You can use it for a setup like this, but you can also put it on top of your camera and vlog with it, um, especially because there is two mics that face you and your subject. And so uh, it's a really cool mic for vlogging if you wanted to get into vlogging, but I do love the option to be able to use it as a boom mic as well. Now, if you were gonna go on the lavalier or the clip on mic route, I would recommend the Comica Boom X wireless lav kit. And I love this kit because it comes with everything you need. It comes with the lav, it comes with the TRRS cable. So if you wanna plug it into your phone, you can do that as well. Uh, but nonetheless, those are the two types of mics I would recommend. Now, uh, you, you know, you're looking at about $180. And if you go the Boom solution, it's a little bit around $130 when it comes to this audio setup. Um, you could totally go way cheap on audio and still get good audio if you buy something like the Deity V Lav mic, which is a wired clip on mic. So kind of similar how you boom this mic, you can uh, clip on your mic, but then you would have a cable running all the way to your camera. Again, contextually for talking head YouTube videos, that works totally fine too, and you would get a great result for 50 bucks. And so, um, you know, when you're making these certain purchases, it's cool to free up money for other things, and I'll get into reasons why later in the video. But those are kind of your mic solutions. You want a boom mic or a clip-on lavalier mic, and whether that be wireless or lav, that would be up to you. But again, links down in the description below if you wanna check anything out. The next part of the YouTube studio setup is going to be your Lighting, lighting is everything. If you can level up your lighting, you'll level up your video. And so I would recommend you looking into my personal favorite light and it's the GVM 100 watt light kit with the softbox. And what I love about this kit at $280, you're getting a light that will work for pretty much any scenario you need. You know, I use this light for thumbnails. I use this light for the main talking head. I'm using it right now. At $280, you're getting everything you need uh, to get your main key light up and going. And I think um, it's really crucial to be able to, you know, have something clean like this. Um, the next kind of lighting purchase you wanna look into is what it, I would call accent lighting. Um, so if you can see behind me, there's actually this globe right here that we got from Ikea. And then there's another light that's over here that was around you know 30 or 40 bucks from Ikea that's casting 
what you would essentially say like warm lighting. It's kind of giving the, my shot a vibe. But you know, if I'm thinking about building out my YouTube studio setup and I have a thousand dollars, I want to think about these kind of lights. And you know, you can go various few ways around the lights that are behind you when you're filming. So this light, this 100 watt GVM kit um, is right in front of me lighting my face, but then I have accent lighting in the back. And if you've seen other Think Media videos, or you can see this example where I'm using a backdrop and I'm actually using another light to light the backdrop. And what this does is it creates separation from me and the background. Like you see in this example where I'm using a gray piece of background paper and I'm actually casting a colored light uh, on that paper to actually give it a colored effect. As you can see, it's like blue. And we do this a lot of times on Think Media. So think about like your setup. Are you gonna be shooting in a corner kind of like what you see now? Or are you gonna be using a flat wall uh, where you would potentially just need one uh, light splashing that to create that separation. Either way, this all funnels into lighting. And so uh, the big thing is your key light. If you can produce a nice and soft light, uh, it'll look a lot more flattering than if you know, you're know you blasting an LED light on you. And that's why I love the GVM 100 watt, but definitely wanna think about those accent lights. Now, if you're getting value in this video, hit that like button for me, thank you so much. And I just wanted to let you know about our sponsor for this video, which is Rev.com. If you're seeing captions on this video right now, it's because we use Rev.com every day to accurately close caption our YouTube videos. Captioning your YouTube videos also help with your video's accessibility, SEO, and even increases watch time and engagement. Rev even has features like foreign language captions, transcriptions, and more. Create an account today and get $10 credit towards your account when going to thinkrev.com. So up to this point, we have covered both the audio and your lighting situation when it comes to this YouTube studio setup. Now, when it comes to video, the camera I actually recommend you getting is a camera that has stood the test of time and is an incredible camera and I'm currently using it right now. And that is the Canon M50. This camera is probably one of the best beginner friendly, reliable, awesome cameras for YouTube videos. The reason why it makes it awesome is it has a flip out screen. The autofocus is incredible. Uh, like I said, it's easy to use. There's an audio jack so you can plug in a mic into it. And more than anything, there's a plethora of things you can do to make it even better from the day you buy it. And currently I'm actually using the kit lens. So if you were to buy the M50 with the kit lens, you can achieve this look, especially with everything I mentioned up to this point. And so the Canon M50 is what I would recommend. Now you can totally get the Canon M50 used for anywhere from 450 to 550. And again, we'll post links to uh, a recommended places to buy it used down in the description below. Um, but that's a fairly good price for, uh, for an awesome camera that shoots incredible video. Um, what I also love about the Canon M50 is the image looks great right out of the camera. There's no need to, you know, essentially color grade and do any of those fancy things that you can do with other cameras. Uh, but more or less, it's just a great camera that produces a great image right out of camera. And so, Look into the Canon M50, and if, if you want to spend a little bit more, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep this under a thousand, but just so you are aware of it, there is a Canon M50 Mark II, uh, which more or less is a great investment if you're looking to do more live streaming things because it has very minimal advancements when compared to its predecessor, the M50 Mark I, I guess you could say. Uh, but for $700 brand new, uh, you're getting the ability to live stream uh, better. But if that's not something you're too worried about, I wouldn't even recommend recommend the M50 Mark II. How about you save a few hundred bucks and get the M50 Mark I. So that is the camera I would recommend. And you know, there's a ton of cameras you can buy at the price point of four to $500. But this has really stood the test of time. And I would say a good reason to potentially buy an M50 is because we have so much content on it. Like if you buy the M50, you can go back on our channel, search M50, we have a playlist, uh, show you how to use it for video, for photography, the accessories that will be awesome to go with it if you wanna invest in some accessories. And so that's the video side of things. The next part of things is really just the tripod or what you would call, or what I call stabilization. And so the tripod I would recommend, which is this Mac trim tripod that costs close to $70 or so and I love this tripod especially for the Canon M50 uh, it's more than enough and it actually goes up high enough so you can stand if you want if you wish to stand um, but it also packs up pretty small I think another bonus about this tripod is it comes with a phone clamp so let's just say you know for today we're just gonna use our phone uh, you now have a clamp or I think of the phone clamp kind of like a bonus because um, I'm getting the tripod and it's coming with the clamp which you can then use
use for your smartphone, um, whether that's for, you know, on your office desk or what have you. Uh, definitely set aside some money in this thousand dollar budget to invest into what is behind you. You want things that make sense. Like if you notice that Think poster in the back, I got one to FedEx and I printed out our logo. I bought the frame from Ikea. You know, you can see it, the, I mentioned the uh, accent lighting in the back. I guess you could say that falls under visual. Um, you know, I got a couple books down here. Um, you know, you, you got a, a YouTube plaque. You know, you got to work a little bit hard for that if you want that YouTube plaque, you know what I'm saying? But think about the things that make sense in your videos. I don't think you should just go around the house and find a bunch of crap, which you can do with books or something or plants. Um, but think about that, that stuff, you know, I even have a plant here that we bought from Home Depot. But if you can set aside about 100, 150 bucks to invest into how it looks visually behind you, whether you're in a corner or you're shooting flat, uh, definitely think about those things. Another thing you can potentially think about is buying some, um, you know, colored paper. This is not a wall that you see to my left, your right. This is actually a colored piece of paper that we bought from a photography store, 60 bucks. We have it taped on the ceiling to make it look like there's a gray wall. Wall. Um, but maybe you want to actually paint a wall. That's obviously money that you are setting aside to invest in your YouTube studio setup. And so let me know down in the comments below what you think about this setup and how uh, this could potentially suit your needs. Um, also, if this is something you would kind of do on your channel. Uh, I know there's different types of YouTube videos you could be creating like vlogs, live streaming, or things of that nature. And this kind of lends itself to the talking head type portion. But nonetheless, let me know down in the comments below. But if you want to see a video on another YouTube studio setup we did, you can click or tap the screen. Or if you want to see a video we did on this, you know, background paper and how we light it and do different things, you can click or tap the screen as well. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.